the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame. What's up, Elite Fam? Charles Macro here today, jumping back in the Car Mechanic Simulator 21. Today, I'm going to show you how to make money legitimately, no glitches, no codes. If you're playing the game, you're grinding, you want to get your shop built up, and you want to find the best way so you can start customizing cars or just doing whatever you want, unlocking upgrades, this is how you do it. Now, if this guy helps you, I need you to hit that like button, subscribe, share this so others can check this out. I have more tutorials that will help you coming along the way, all right? Now, there are a few things you need to do to get to this level. You see, I'm level nine. I have almost 40,000. That's enough that I can unlock a lot of things, right? The first thing you need to do is get to level five. I'm level nine. You get to level five. What level five does is allows you to hit the map key, M and you'll unlock the junkyard. You want to be able to get to the junkyard, okay? So you wanna to get to level five. The best way to get XP is through doing jobs. As you pull parts off doing jobs, fixing things, you get XP. The other thing you do to get XP is examination mode. Examination mode is very important. All you have to do is hold the button. When you see zero for a number, zero for nine, zero for 11, hold the button, you get one point per. If you don't know about this, I skipped this. I didn't used to do this in 2018. This is a great way to get XP. Look at something on TV, um, do something else, or watch YouTube videos while you just hold the button and let this go up to get XP. Do this on every car that comes in. The next thing you have to do is save up 15,000. You're gonna save up 15,000 by doing odd jobs. I recommend taking easy jobs that only have one item by them like this, brake systems, just brakes, oil changes. Do those jobs and keep saving up. And while you do that, continue to inspect every car or examine every car that comes in. Then make sure you sell the parts. Go to your inventory, hold V, sell parts that are under 30%. Everything that's under 30%, sell it. That's gonna add to your credit count. Keep doing this method. Do easy jobs that you're able to do, or you can do a complex job. These actually earn a lot of money in XP, but they take a lot longer. But you will earn money with multiple repair types in them. Those are good money. But if you're early and you don't know how to find everything, do simple jobs. Once you've saved your 15,000, come to your toolbox, go to garage and tools, unlock the welder. This is why you need a 15 because five is gonna go into unlocking the welder. So unlock your welder, that's all you need for now. Now at the end of the video, I'll explain what upgrades that I think you should do to help you do this faster, but we'll get back to that. So once you're at level five, and you've saved up 15 and you've unlocked welding, get ready to go to the junkyard. Once you get to the junkyard, no, it is random. Sometimes there will be a lot of cars here. Sometimes there'll only be a few cars here. The 10,000 is to give you cushion because it costs 500 each time you go to the junkyard. Now go around the junkyard. We're gonna look for cars that are the cheapest. This car is 5,000, boom. Now there may not be one that's 5,000 when you first come. We want to look for cars that are 7,000 and under. You can make profit off cars that are more, but for now we're gonna keep it cheap. And then after you've saved, we'll go for cars that are 8,000, 9,000 and above. But start with cars that are 7,000 and under. This car, wow, is 5,000 already, awesome. We're gonna buy this car. I'm gonna buy a few different cars to show you the profit margins. Another tip when at the junkyard, Go through junk, buy cheap car seats. These will be very handy when you put these cars together. Sometimes you can buy things, but don't buy things that are five or $600. Car seats, you can buy those at 30% or 10%. It does not matter. Stop at piles along the way, buy these car seats, 13%. They are very cheap. Buy every car seat you can afford as long as you found a car. Once you found a car, buy car seats. Once you found a car that is cheap, buy car seats. Now you start with car seats. Once you've earned some money, then you can buy other random parts and buy steering wheels. Adding these to the cars adds value. Now as you're nearing the end, make sure you cut through these racks. Sometimes cars are hidden in here and you might miss them. This one is 8,000. I'm gonna buy this car that's 8,000. 
Again, I recommend staying under about seven at first just because you can't risk taking that loss and you'll pretty much always make some form of profit if it's uh, 7,000 or below. All right, so I'm at the end. I don't see any more cars. So I got two cars. Once you earn some money using this method, buy more than one car and watch how much profit you begin to make. So we're gonna leave, I'm gonna return. Now, all of these parts I got, look at all of these car seats I got. 25, 46, 32. $19, $20. I bought steering wheels and I bought car seats. Really only worry about the car seats at first, but you can throw steering wheels in as well. We're back with our first car. This was the one that was 5,000. So let's look at the status. So we're 1,700 in the hole, okay? The sale value is only 3,000 for this car. This is a cheap car. First thing you wanna do is go to your welder and every now and then you'll only make your money back. Just know that or it'll be very close where you won't make a lot of money. It costs 500 to use the welder. So this is why you don't wanna spend all your money. Make sure you have at least 600 when you leave the junkyard. Don't spend all of your money. Look at that, 1100. That covered the 500 and went to go there, the 500 for the welding, and the 100 we're about to spend washing the car. Now you want to do your interior detailing. You move that to your car lift. Watch what happens after we detail the car. The next thing I'm gonna unlock is the car wash. That is supposed to add value as well. But even if it doesn't, look at what we made. 3,400, so that's basically a $2,500 profit off this one car. Look at that, and it was 1,700 in the hole at first. That is good money. Hit that like button for me, guys. Hit that like button if you are elite. Hit that like button. Let's sell this car. Bam, we already back in the 30,000s. Now let's go pull this other car out just to see when I spent 8,000, how much profit you could potentially make. Guys, I mistakenly went back to the junkyard. I meant to go to my garage and I hit junkyard. So since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this car for 6,000 just to show you. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple other cars, but then we'll jump back and you'll see the profit for that first car, all right? Okay guys, so after mistakenly going back to the junkyard, I bought three more cars. So I'm gonna show you the profit margin. Watch this video, I'm gonna show you the profit margin. This is the first car that we got, this Hellcat. We're gonna move this into the garage. 2,000, so that's still a $900 profit. Let's go ahead and sell this. Bam, get our profit back. These are the three cars that I got. This boat, this is like an Impala. 3,400, look at that, a 3,400 profit. That means we made about 2,500 right there. Let's go ahead and sell this car. But we're not done yet, guys, we're not done. We're gonna go ahead and bring in another one. This is one of the ones I bought while I mistakenly went back to the junkyard. After detailing, look at that, 2,000. So we still making about 900. Really more than that because we bought multiple cars at the same time, so the cost of the trip is split between the cars. But it, well, let's just say we paid the full 500 for the trip. We're still earning 900 off this car. Now I'm gonna add a front seat. Check it out, these seats all were less than $30. Let's add this front right seat, boom. Look at how much that went up. What was that, $200 almost? Look at that, almost $200 for a seat that we only paid $30 for. If you buy cars with no seats in them and you add two, the value can go up four, or $500. So let's go ahead and sell this one, get our profit. Look at where our money is at, guys. Look at where our money is at. And we got one more car to sell. Look at that, I paid 10,000 for this. This was just an experiment. I haven't bought one that was 10,000 yet. I wanted to see if I could lose money by buying one that was 10,000. This is a $10,000 car. We're already down negative 2,500. The sale value is only 75. After detailing, the car is worth 1,265. So we're still gonna make about two, $300 profit not much, but it is something. That's why you don't necessarily wanna get an expensive car until you can repair. Once we can repair parts, we'll earn more money. Let's add a seat to see if that helps. That's the best condition we have. It was at 1200 profit. Let's, let's see what our profit is now. 1300, so that does help us to make a little more profit after it's all said and done. So again, be a little leery of buying 10,000, 9,000, try to stay 7,000 and below until you earn a lot of money. We're almost at 50,000 credits. Now, the one thing I forgot to do was examine the cars. Examine all those cars and that would get you XP. We probably would be at level 10 if I would examine all the cars. Now guys, after you do that, after you saved up your money, 
you can upgrade, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna upgrade uh, my garage, the expansion. Then you can buy your body repair station, your workbench uh, that allows you to fix mechanical parts, your brake station. These things will allow you to repair the parts. Then you'll start earning even more money on those cars. So again, come back in the next video. We'll unlock these repair benches and we'll start repairing parts. We're gonna go back to the junkyard and we'll start repairing parts. See how much we can earn. We're gonna go for 100,000. Then we'll go back and finish the story mission, man. We're after we've unlocked and opened up the entire garage. All right, guys? So again, hit me in that comment box, like, subscribe, share. This video helps you like, hit that like button. Come join the Macro Elite, guys. You can join and become a member today. Come support the channel. Come through the live streams. We play Fishing Planet. If you want to see a live stream of Car Mechanic Simulator, let me know in the comments. I will start live streaming this and showing you what I do to grow my shop. All right, guys? Hit me in that comment box. Like, subscribe, share. Follow me over on Twitch as well. I do stream over there. So, yo, we can get in the streams. Check out the Fishing Planet series and the streams. Guys, we got growing the channel, and it is amazing. Thank you and salute to the Macro Elite. Charles Macro, Car Mechanic Simulator 21. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm a holla at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro. My name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.